Imagine a material that can repair itself when cracked, just like human skin healing a wound. This futuristic sounding technology is becoming a reality through self-healing materials, which use droplet-based microfluidics to create tiny capsules filled with healing agents. These microcapsules, ranging from a few micrometers to millimeters in size, are embedded within materials like concrete, polymers, or coatings. When damage occurs, the capsules break open, releasing their contents to fill the cracks and restore the material's integrity. Why is this important? In infrastructure, self-healing concrete could extend the lifespan of buildings, roads, and bridges, reducing costly repairs. In aerospace and automotive industries, self-repairing coatings can prevent corrosion and wear, increasing safety and durability. Even in electronics, microcapsules can protect circuits from moisture or mechanical stress. The droplet-based microfluidic approach ensures precise control over capsule size, shell thickness, and core content, making the healing process more efficient and reliable. One exciting example is polymer-based self-healing materials, where microcapsules contain reactive monomers that polymerize when released, effectively gluing the damaged area back together. Can you imagine everyday products like phone screens, clothing, or even furniture with built-in self-healing abilities? As research advances, we could see these materials becoming standard in various industries, making our world more resilient, sustainable, and cost-effective. Could this technology eventually lead to biomimetic materials that function like living tissues? Self-healing materials are engineered to autonomously repair damage, extending their lifespan and reducing maintenance needs. These materials typically incorporate microcapsules filled with healing agents that are released upon mechanical damage. When cracks form, the microcapsules rupture, releasing the reactive healing compound that polymerizes and restores structural integrity. Polymer-based coatings with embedded self-healing microcapsules prevent surface cracks in aerospace and automotive applications, increasing material durability. These materials function like biological wound healing, where a cut triggers the release of clotting agents to repair the damage. Microcapsules act as reservoirs for healing agents, protecting them from premature degradation and ensuring targeted release upon structural failure. The encapsulated healing agent is usually a monomer or polymer precursor that reacts with an external catalyst or air upon release. The efficiency of self-healing depends on capsule stability, distribution within the material, and the ability to effectively seal microcracks. Microcapsules containing dicyclopentadiene, DCPD, and a dispersed catalyst enable self-repair in polymer matrices, restoring mechanical properties after crack formation. This is akin to airbags in a car, remaining dormant until triggered by an impact, then deploying to mitigate damage. Droplet Microfluidics provides a controlled platform for producing uniform microcapsules with precisely tailored properties. Using flow focusing or co-flow methods, researchers generate mono-dispersed droplets encapsulating healing agents, ensuring consistent release behavior. By adjusting parameters such as flow rates, surfactant concentrations, and curing times, microcapsule size, shell thickness, and permeability can be finely tuned. Microfluidic synthesis enables the creation of double emulsion microcapsules with a polymeric shell, improving stability and enhancing controlled release in structural composites. It works like a high-precision inkjet printer ensuring each microcapsule is formed with the exact composition and size needed for optimal function. The choice of shell material is crucial for balancing mechanical robustness and responsiveness to damage stimuli. Polymers like polyurea, polyurethane, and melamine, formaldehyde provide durability, while biodegradable shells enhance eco-friendliness. The shell must withstand material processing conditions while ensuring efficient rupture upon crack formation, allowing healing agents to flow and polymerize. Polyurea microcapsules used in self-healing concrete enhance crack sealing efficiency by releasing polymeric adhesives when structural stress exceeds a threshold. These capsules function like protective packaging for delicate electronics, shielding contents from external damage until intentional activation 
Various healing agents are encapsulated to match the needs of different materials, including polymerizable monomers, corrosion inhibitors, and even bio-inspired self-healing compounds. The selection of a healing agent depends on the host material's chemistry, required healing kinetics, and environmental stability. Dual-dependent capsules enable more sophisticated healing strategies, where reactants mix upon rupture, in concrete, calcium carbonate forming bacteria are encapsulated to autonomously seal cracks through biomineralization when exposed to water. This is like epoxy adhesives stored in separate compartments until mixed for activation, ensuring on-demand functionality. The effectiveness of self-healing materials relies on controlled microcapsule rupture when mechanical damage occurs. Rupture triggers include mechanical stress, crack formation, thermal changes, and pH variations. The internal pressure of the capsule and the brittleness of the shell material determine activation sensitivity, ensuring healing agents are deployed precisely when needed. In aircraft coatings, microcapsules with temperature-sensitive shells release anti-corrosive agents when exposed to extreme thermal fluctuations, preventing structural degradation. This functions like a pressure-sensitive relief valve activating only when a threshold force is exceeded. Self-healing microcapsules are integrated into a wide range of materials, including polymers, metals, ceramics, and composites to enhance longevity and performance. In coatings, they prevent surface degradation, while in load-bearing structures, they restore mechanical properties after stress-induced damage. Smart textiles also utilize self-healing fibers for enhanced durability and wear resistance. Automotive paints containing microcapsules filled with polymeric sealants self-repair minor scratches, maintaining aesthetic and functional properties. It works like self-sealing tires that automatically patch punctures to maintain air pressure and functionality. <laughs> the advantages of droplet-based self-healing microcapsules include precise formulation control, improved efficiency and scalability for industrial applications. However, challenges remain, such as long-term stability, cost-effectiveness, and compatibility with large-scale manufacturing. Future research focuses on optimizing capsule longevity, improving healing efficiency in extreme environments, and developing bio-inspired alternatives Self-healing electronic coatings face challenges in maintaining conductivity after multiple healing cycles requiring advanced nanomaterial integration. This is similar to rechargeable batteries. Enhancing longevity while maintaining peak performance requires continuous technological improvements. Next generation self-healing materials will integrate microcapsules with programmable release mechanisms, nanocomposite reinforcements, and stimuli-responsive behavior. AI-assisted material design will optimize capsule distribution patterns, while bioengineered healing agents will expand application fields. Combining microfluidics with additive manufacturing enables 3D-printed self-healing materials for aerospace, biomedical, and energy applications. Smart infrastructure materials embedded with AI, monitored self-healing microcapsules will autonomously detect and repair damage before failure occurs. This concept resembles an advanced immune system, identifying damage early and triggering targeted healing responses to maintain long-term structural integrity. <laughs>